Hi, I'm Sarah Best. I'm one of the endourologists here at the University of Wisconsin, and I'm also our director of simulation education. Uh, in this video, in the next few minutes, I'm going to tell you a little bit more about our simulation program and how I think it really sets us apart from lots of the other programs throughout the country. Our simulation program has a wide variety of activities designed to educate and challenge residents throughout their entire training. One of our unique program features is our Urology Boot Camp Series. Our educational calendar builds in protected time for our junior residents and interns to participate in seven different skills labs, focusing on activities that are particularly pertinent to that year. Many of these occur early in intern year, where faculty lead sessions in practicing suturing and knot tying, endoscopy as well as laparoscopy and robotics. These sessions are highly rated by our trainees, but you don't have to just take my word for it. So the bootcamp program has been really good in helping me get a hold of the nuances that are important when I'm in the OR, uh, such as the laparoscopic trainer. Uh, you never know when the you know emergency appendectomies or cholecystectomies occur during your intern and gen surgery year. And those have been really good in allowing me to just be more comfortable in those opportunities that just you get thrown into randomly. So one of my favorite things about the simulation program was being able to get my hands on the equipment before actually being in the OR. So the first time you pick up a ureteroscope um, isn't as you're doing a procedure, you're able to get familiar with it and ask questions and um, kind of become familiar with it before actually getting into the OR. So I think the boot camps have helped me prepare for uh, the OR setting and the clinical setting by getting direct feedback ahead of time and in a low stress environment. I can ask really basic questions um, and get them answered and then be able to improve and practice upon that in a controlled manner. So I think those boot camp uh, sessions have been very helpful for that reason. Later sessions include loop surgery and microsurgery, as well as practicing bowel anastomoses. These labs allow our residents to work with faculty experts in these skills while in a low pressure setting. We also have a rotating curriculum of simulation labs that all our residents participate in together. Many of these are listed here and are conducted on a two-year rotating schedule, such that each resident should get to do each lab twice. Our ever-evolving curriculum involves a variety of technologies, from high-tech simulators to ex vivo pig kidneys and even cadavers to teach implantation of penile prostheses. These sessions provide low pressure opportunities to practice surgical skills with dedicated faculty, as well as a chance for senior and junior residents to learn from each other. One favorite lab with our residents is the PCNL access activity, where interventional radiology faculty join departmental endourologists to provide practice in the 3D skill that is perk access with both ultrasound and fluoroscopy. Oh, it's hard to pick a favorite because they're all super helpful um, and I learned in all of them, but I think my favorite so far has been the PCNL lab. Um, and the reason is that there were a couple of different stations and so you could kind of progress with your skills. And so you started with a block where you could really see in 3D the model of the kidney um, and get a good angle and kind of figure out, you know, how things will then look under fluoro. So then we would progress to the room with um, the actual C arm. Um, and then using the fluoro images, attempt to get access that way. Um, and so it was kind of helpful in terms of figuring out what you were looking at, going 3D to then the fluoro room. Um, and I think just in terms of trying to get access, it was nice to feel like you weren't under the pressure of having a, a patient under anesthesia, um, where you're actually trying to get this access on a patient. So it really let you try out different things, I think, that would uh, help you to get good access. Well, that's a quick summary of our simulation program here at the University of Wisconsin. We think our commitment to education and our investment in simulation really sets us apart from a lot of other training programs here in the U.S. Thanks for taking the time to watch, and if you have any questions, please don't hesitate to reach out because we'd be happy to answer. Thanks.